Hi everybody. I just wanted to do a quick little video that shows you around BlueJ and uh, kind of how it works now that we're switching over to this new IDE. And by the way, uh, by the way, IDE is a fancy way to say a program where we write programs. And IDE stands for Integrated Development Environment, and basically it's where we go to write code, write programs. So I click on BlueJ. Most of you will be working in PC land. I'm working on a Mac, not a big deal, um, but the program should look pretty much the same. So here's what BlueJ looks like when I open it, and you can see there's nothing here really to click on. And so I want to go Project, and I want to go New Project, and then I'm just going to type uh, First Project BlueJ, and I notice where it's going. So I recommend you make a folder called BlueJ Projects or Java programming, whatever, but you know, know where your stuff's going to go. And I hit OK. And just like in Greenfoot, you can see that I have a folder. It's not making one file, it has a folder that's just got made. And it has this package.bluej file and then a readme file that I really don't need. And this is where our files are going to go. So I'm going to leave this up on the screen so you can see that. Now, um, I have a new new project. There's really nothing here, so I'm going to say new class, and I'm going to call this class um, anything I want, really. I'm going to call it, uh, because it's just a test, I'll just call it test class. But, you know, if, if, if I were writing a class that was going to be uh, aliens or, you know, for a video game, I'd call it alien. Uh, not the best example. That was off the top of my head because we're not doing games in here. Uh, but Basically, the class name is going to be reflecting what you're doing, what you're making. Um, these things here you don't need to worry about. Just leave it alone. Leave this alone. So just OK. And you'll see that a test class here appears. And over here you can see that a Java file was just created over here. So I'm not going to double click on that, but this is where our files are held. Um, now, if I double click on test class, then I'm going to go into the editor mode. And this is um, where I'm going to write code. So I'm going to take all this stuff and I'm going to delete it. So all I'm going to have is public class and then whatever the name is. And then here is where you're going to type the magic words public static void main string. And then these two brackets back and forth args. And you will get used to this. This is basically saying this is where my code starts. Anything I put in here is going to run, is going to be executed when we run the code. Um, so for now, I'm just going to put system.it.print line hello world. Okay. And you can see if I hit right over here, see the gray lines? That means that this is an uncompiled class. It means that the computer hasn't attempted to um, make sure that it works, essentially. So if I hit compile, the computer goes, OK, yep, it works. Compiling is done. That does not run the file. That just makes sure that the code is all good and everything is ready to run. Now to run it, what I do is I right click here and I want to run this method. I'm going to run the main method. So I click here and this is where we could put in more information, uh, but we're not going to here. So you can kind of ignore this for now. I hit OK and it says hello world in a what's called a terminal window. And if you look over here, it just made a couple of the things called a class file and a ctxt file. We don't have to worry about those too much, but that's exactly what we expected. Okay. Um, if I were to do some more stuff, if I you know give you some sort of string assignment, you can do a little more. Say string temp equals uh, hello, and you know we've been working on string variables. So if I do a system dot out, or sorry, string methods, if I do a system dot out print line of temp dot substring uh, zero comma three, sure, why not? Um, if I run that, then what's going to happen? And again, compile, right click, and then main, OK, and you can see HEL, and uh, it doesn't clear automatically. If you want to clear the terminal window and make that start all over, just go up there, go clear, and then you can continue to write programs. And so this is kind of the idea of how BlueJ works. You have your coding environment, which looks a little bit different, and you right click, you run the main method, but you do have to 
to write that yourself, being careful with the syntax, okay? Uh, so I hope that gets you going. And again, I'm sure that you have questions about how this all works. We will continue to work with it and answer those questions as we go.